When I first saw the dragons close up, I was really amazed. There's something about that prehistoric look that they have, that weird sort of eye that's looking around, the saliva dripping from the mouth. They have a, an interesting gait where they kind of wave the head back and forth, and their front legs make big circles to come around, and they cover a lot of ground with their steps. Komodo dragons live only on islands in the Indonesian archipelago. There's probably, you know, maybe only about 3,000 of these animals left. The villages are, are not large. They're usually sort of right on the coast. And the dragons are kind of off in the distance. The dragons don't generally attack and kill and drag off a person. That's not really the usual incident. It's sometimes just a defensive bite and then the dragon leaves. But I think more and more as the villages spread out a bit, the dragons are coming closer to people and coming into the villages more often in search of food. In the culture, there is a reverence for Komodo dragons, and they do see them as sort of an ancestral form. People have been kind of obsessed with the Komodo dragon saliva, what's in it and how deadly is it. The venom actually has a component in it that stops the blood from clotting. And so when the, the animal crawls away and maybe tries to hide out, it's going to bleed out much faster because of this, this venom that's in its blood. And so the dragon will be able to sniff out that animal a little bit later and feed on it, even if it escaped. But certainly the saliva of the Komodo dragon is, is nasty stuff. When you see these in the wild, you think, wow, this is, you know, this is almost sort of a relic of evolution. There's just a, a beauty and a look about them. And I just think it would be incredible to, to live amongst these, these ancient dragons.